What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you guys my latest script that I'm uh, releasing on the Game Guardian website. Uh, this isn't a script for any particular game. This is for uh, pretty much any Unity game. There's a few that it probably won't work with. Um, I'm going to bet it doesn't work with uh, Call of Duty. probably won't work with uh, Genshin Impact. But other than those, it'll probably work with most of them. Almost all. But anyways, what this script allows you to do is to uh, create edits for Unity games, IL2CPP based games, uh, using method names. You don't need offsets, you just need to know what the name of the method is in the uh, like if you were to dump it with IL2CPP dumper, you need to know what the method name would be there. Um, you don't necessarily need to know a method name. I have it so you can also search uh, for keywords as well. I was messing with uh, Lover's script there a little bit. Need to talk to him so I can add uh, field offsets. I'm pretty sure he can he can help me with that. But anyway, so first time you run the script with a game. <clears throat> Uh, it's going to build a database of all the strings in the game. Uh, it'll do that the first time actually you run a search. So, uh, I'm going to show you the two different ways of getting to what we're looking for here. I'm going to do the search way first, so it'll... Uh, Build this database. So wait while search database is created. It'll take a few, not a super long time to do that, but here is a IL2CPP uh, dumper dump of this game. And here's the uh, method name we're going to use git is unlock. It's kind of weird spelling, or capitalization, I should say. It's part of this namespace right here, car data. So, <clears throat> and again, uh, you just have to wait for that database to be built the first time. And now, right now, it is actually gathering, I believe, uh, the uh, the IDs for the different method types, like boolean, integer. Uh, float, double, whatever it might be. It is almost done. Alright, so these are the search results. Uh, I in check case sensitive, so you'll see some uppercase G's in there as well. Uh, now you could either select any of these individually and see if it's actually uh, a method that's used. I mean, it could be a class name, it could be a field offset, or you can just down here at the bottom process all search results. As it says, this can take a long time with a large number. This is kind of a lot, but it'll give you an idea of how many you would want to run it with. And while we're waiting, I will go here and point something out. This says int right there, that means integer, and now normally something that says git is unlock, that would typically be a, a boolean method, booleans, true or false, yes or no, is it unlocked, uh, one is yes, zero would be no, but this time it has a int in front of it, which means that, well at least I thought, and I confirmed it, they're actually using this integer as a boolean basically. Uh, 
treats it just like one. I don't know if a lot of games do that. I think it's the first one I came across that did it. Probably is done in a lot of games. I probably just happened to come across it for the first time. But anyway. So down here where you see it says no methods are found. Um, that just means it could be a class name again or a field offset name, uh, a field name for a field offset or uh, or something like that. So it's just get rid of that so it doesn't uh, take up space in your database. And so subsequent searches and all that will go quicker and all that stuff. Now you can see it's finding methods for some of these other strings. And pretty soon it will be done and it will pop up at the menu uh, that I hope is easy to read. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know. Alright, done processing. Uh, so actually it brings you back to here. Uh, all the same search options are here. All you got to do is press OK again. And there we go. So. Unlock level price. Get as unlock. There we go. So down here. Get is unlock. Should be another one. Right. Sign. Hmm. I don't know but what we're gonna do right now. Anyways, is uh, is do it the other way, real quick. Where you enter the exact uh, method name. Cricket edit. So, card data. Get this unlock, enter, and real quick before we set that, I'll show you. A bunch of lock cars. And again, as I said, even though this is an integer, or an int, yeah. Normally you'd edit with this one. We're going to use Boolean. I mean, you could edit as an integer anyways. Just set it to uh, 1. Because that would be the exact same edit as this right here. So, there's a little bit of information here. It tells you about the edit you're making. You might learn a little something about ARM. Uh, potentially. But, uh, we're going to leave this exactly like it is. Because that's what we're setting it to. So, as it says, it's set, it lets you test it before you save it. So, for this game, you gotta go play a song. Well, you don't actually have to play it, but you gotta get this other screen to reload. And here we go. Everything's unlocked. You can equip them. Press the Game Guardian button again. Save the edit. And as you can see, it's now up here in the menu. So, quick, I'm gonna delete those. You can see after the name it says ARM7. It's just letting you know what architecture it's for. Um, if you're importing edits and it's for a different architecture than your devices, <coughs> excuse me. It'll let you search for it real easy and create a new edit for your for your architecture. So right now I am actually going to import edits that I exported previously. If I'm not blind, they might be way down here. 
There it is, all the way at the bottom. So, I'll show you how to export I mean, uh, right after this as well. That this is going to be importing functions I created before. There you go. As you can see, I had that function uh, already and had activated it, so it still shows as active. I unlock songs. As you can see, hmm. ah, this is uh, this is old and from before that. So now I can show you how you would fix it. Yes, I'm gonna say I do want to find it. It automatically puts what I'm oops, searching for up here. Song data. It's the same way. So it's kind of a bad example because that was a old, uh, a old one there, but uh, it's okay. And that's also why neither of those have ARM7 after the name. Anyway, let's see if this one works here. Hey, we didn't even have to reload for that one. They're all unlocked. Alright. Let's delete these old ones. Estimate these edits. We're going to export an edit this time. Select the ones you want to edit. We only have one. Unlock all songs. That's been exported. You can send this to someone else that's using the script. Uh, and they can import it into theirs and have whatever edits you came up with or you found. Um, that was exported. Let's try this part again. I'm going to delete this. Import. Second one, Jason. Oh. There we go. That's working as it should now. All right. It's not the first time we ran it when it created that database of strings. It also saved uh, method types and, and whatnot. So, first, I'll always run this search right here. This, this search makes all, this, all the subsequent searches it does go way, way faster. So. All right, and as you can see, there's the function we made. Run it. Unlocked. And they are unlocked. All right. <clears throat> and just to show you real quick, this time, uh, search goes nice and fast because as I said database is saved um, when a game updates it's going to update that database again if you uh, if you know there's nothing new no new names in that in the uh, in the new version of the game you can just go into the uh, the scripts data directory and rename uh, the old database to the new database's name and then you don't then, then you'll you'll still have all the class information and uh, method name class name uh, method type all that stuff will still be here when you do the search and you don't have to go down down oops <laughs> didn't mean to press that anyways you don't have to go to the bottom of that menu and uh, and process everything again so 
uh, that script, that video is a little bit long and drawn out, but uh, hopefully you guys find this useful. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want stuff added to it. I will add stuff if you guys are, uh, are finding it useful and using it. Have a good one.